Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Josiah and Chiki and the whole Mansmith organization for creating this avenue to recognize worthy leaders in the business industry. Akala mo ako nanalo. I also would like to extend my congratulations to the awesome companies present here today. Uh, Dragon Edge Group, Google Philippines, Nestle Philippines. We are all equally blessed to have awesome mentor leaders who steer our companies to greater heights uh, so that we can be able to lead our teams in the future. Uh, I remember two years ago when I was also here on stage accepting my YMMA award and thanking everyone who supported me achieve my goals. I am happy to stand here again to give back to my mentor who made me who I am today. Uh, in Max's group, my moniker is Mr. Awesome. Since I love saying the word awesome, and I also love to deliver awesome results most of the time. <laughs> Unknown to many, I am not the original awesome in our company, since this guy was actually the one who taught me how to be awesome in the first place. Uh, I remember Sir Robert Rota, or RFT, to be quite suplado and a terror among us marketers way back when I was still a marketing manager for Max's restaurant. Uh, when, when I was under uh, the marketing department, I never did have any interaction with him, except during Execom sessions when we had to present our, la our la latest marketing promos and campaigns. He's a very straightforward guy that delivers hard-hitting comments. And I got a taste of this experience when I handled the online ordering project for Dar brand. I was a happy-go-lucky marketing guy back then, still am now. I was laid back and I just really didn't take anything seriously. I fondly remember this one time when I was presenting the timelines for a particular project to our IT team, when RFT suddenly entered the room and joined the meeting. Of course, I got nervous because the president of the company suddenly joined and started giving comments to my presentation. He promptly attended the following meeting a week after. After hearing me present for five minutes, he suddenly stood up and told everyone that I just kept on presenting the same things over and over again, and he will just attend the next meeting if ever I show accomplishments and show concrete results. He then promptly excused himself. There I was, shell-shocked and dazed. The company president just walked out of a meeting. <laughs> it was a significant moment of my career, since it really showed me how much of a no-nonsense guy RFT is. RFT is direct to the point. Uh, and he wants everything done yesterday, just like Sir Dennis. Uh, I think last week, I vibrated him to ask him, Dear boss, alin po ang dapat unahin? A, rush. B, ASAP. <laughs> C, urgent. D, important. E, priority. Or F, I need that now. Of course, he replied, all of the above. When I was finally blessed, or probably cursed, to be given a chance to work under him, it was then I realized how awesome of a leader he really is. He taught me three things, which I will share with you tonight, using his initials RFT. R. R stands for resilience. RFT taught me how to be resilient, how to be stubborn for a good cause, and how to stand your ground if you feel that you are doing something right and worthy, even if, the results, even if the results are still not there. We had a lot of issues when we were starting the revamp of the Max e-commerce website, and it seemed that everything was not working and falling apart. RFT told me to carry on, and that everything will work and as we envision it to run. He never backed down from the pressure and believed in my ability to launch the said project on time, and launch it well we did. Without his sheer determination, I would have folded and given up on the said online delivery project, which is now worth around 1.5 billion a year. Just imagine how much sales we would have lost if the characteristic of resilience was not part of his element. F, F stands for the future. RFT is a visionary. He sees the trends way before it will come to fruition. In the early 1990s, he has already implemented an international food padala system 
that can allow you to order food anywhere in the world to send to your family in the Philippines, which was way, way, way ahead of its time. He is a trailblazer and a techie as well. He has apps installed on his phone that I haven't even heard of. He prepares for future demands and trends, and he also championed the, creator, the creation of our in-house call center and online delivery system. CC envisioned that delivery and off-premise sales will skyrocket for restaurants in the future. Because of this, Max's group was way ahead of the competitors when the market for food delivery picked up, and we were also prepared when customers started shifting to online ordering. He has a knack for determining future trends, and even before it happens, he inspires his team to prepare for the future demand by building the resources now. The last is letter T, which stands for Tagay. There is no doubt RFT loves to celebrate and have fun. Uh, even before the other speakers were uh, speaking on stage, we were already having a bottle there already. So he was the one who actually told me to celebrate the successes of your team. Big or small, every win should be celebrated. He values his people and loves inviting everyone to have a San Light bottle or two. Your team will make or break you, he said. So you have to treat them well and make them feel that they are part of something special. If ever he has some time off from his very busy schedule, expect him to make tambay at Densho's or Max's Cabecera at BGC. And, in, to inv and he's going to be inviting anyone for a drink and some well-deserved kwentuhan. So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further delay, it is with pure awesomeness and great pride that I introduce the most credible and incredible mentor that I am so blessed to be working with, my future Ninong Sakasal if ever I get married, the original Mr. Awesome, RFT Mr. Trota. Our last Mansmith Market Masters Awards winner is Mr. Robert Trota, President and Chief Executive Officer of Max's Group Inc. Thank you for the nomination, Isil. Your passion and perseverance have contributed to the growth of our business. And I'm equally proud that you consider me as your mentor when you won your Young Market Masters Trophy two years ago. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank Josiah and Chiki and the whole Man Smith organization for this prestigious award. I would also like to congratulate my co-marketing mentor awardees who I am very much honored to share this stage with you, with you tonight. Dennis Balahaja, Kenneth Lingan, and Rosa Simba. I would also like to recognize the Maxis Group team who are, have come out tonight to show their support. Maraming salamat sa inyong suporta, sa Cassin's Consortium at sa akin. Without your unwavering passion and dedication, Maxis Group would not have grown this big through the years, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for all your hard work. Since I was asked to speak on my leadership style and mentoring experiences, I believe that the right way to frame this would be in the context of two biggest challenges that continuously guide me and my cousins in elevating the Maxis Group as the largest casual dining restaurant group in the Philippines. The challenge on maintaining relevance and the challenge of igniting convergence. My first point is on relevance. Max's Group started with a single brand in 1945 with Max's Restaurant. That was over 70 years ago. For most restaurateurs, 
the challenge is to find the secret formula to staying in business for more than a decade. But for a group carrying a heritage brands, the challenge, however, is to keep reinventing itself to make it appealing to the new generations of customers while ensuring that the values and qualities that have made it successful over the years are kept intact. Embracing the change and adapting products and services to meet the ever-evolving customer needs and desires are exactly the challenges very much welcomed by the leadership team of the Maxis Group. It is the spirit of innovation that drives the various members of the company to explore new ways to make every customer's visit to any of its brands and most delightful dining experience possible. When my cousins and I took over the company about two decades ago, we wanted to make sure that it would be a business that our family and the rest of the Filipino would be proud of. We knew that the only way to could do this was by ensuring that the brands, were operate, the brands we operate continue to offer the same kind of familiar service our patrons value, while at the same time keeping our doors open to the new generations who have yet to experience our brands. Relevance is about making sure that we put our customers first. That means that all aspects of the business take into consideration how our customers would want to experience what we are offering. This spans from the food that we have to the service that we give, down to the aesthetics and architecture of where we engage with them. Filipino families have embraced our brands to be part of their lives. I don't know anyone who has not celebrated or attended a family gathering, binyag, kasal, function, or family get-together at Maxis. We love being part of each and every Filipino's lives, and we intend to stay in the industry for a long time. Ang sarap magtrabaho at mangmahal kung kasing sarap to the bones ang binibigay mong effort at pagmamahal sa kapwa at sa trabaho. That's the power of brands. We knew this to be true and relevant yesterday, but we have no way of knowing with full confidence that this truth will remain equally valid tomorrow. And that's why we knew we had to future-proof our brands. We had to enable them with the tools, to that will, the tools that will allow them to truly understand the customers through data and intelligence, predict the new truths of tomorrow, and deliver an experience that they would regularly come back to, whether in how we design our stores in our both aesthetics and ergonomics, or in emergent new channels, through our products, our formats, our day parts, our fulfillment platforms, our communications, and branded moments. Our mission, demand driven by data and design. That's what it means to be a marketeer in the 21st century. And I am proud to have overseen this evolution in the Maxis Group. Maxis Group has been in the food industry for 75 years already through our flagship brand, Maxis Restaurant, which was established in 1945. We are still relevant today because we continue to evolve on how we do business by simplifying our operations, allowing data to drive our decisions, finding better and faster ways to serve our customers, and putting the customer at the center of everything that we do. Over the last few years, our company has been steadily investing on infrastructure and technologies to fully enable our marketing, sales, and operations teams to deliver. While we would like to believe that being one of the largest casual dining restaurants in the country allows us to direct the growth of the market, we need to be humble enough to recognize that we need to listen and understand more to what our customers need and want. I've always been an operator and a no-nonsense guy who is focused on the daily operations of our business units and restaurants. My DNA has always been to focus on more on efficiency and profitability of our stores so that we can serve and satisfy all our customers who invest their time and effort to buy and experience all our brands. But I realized that my role as an operator has been both informed and transformed by the challenge of keeping our brands relevant on a daily basis. 
My advice to all existing and aspiring leaders seated here tonight is to ask yourselves, what have you truly done today to prove customers first is at the center of what you do? It takes courage to listen and even more courage to transform. Which leads me to my next point on convergence. The simple truth behind the backstage machinery of Max's group is having an end-to-end, -end, seamless, and integrated view of how we can deliver the best possible experience to our customers. Having multiple brands in our portfolio, led by Max's Restaurant, Yellow Cab Pizza, Pancake House, and Krispy Kreme, we knew we had to find efficiencies across the organization to ensure we are able to deliver products, services, and experiences that speak to the consistent quality of Max's group and one that our customers truly deserve. So we started with a simple question, some might call it obvious. For an organization built by a family to celebrate the joy of families, how could we mobilize our business to act and move as a family, but with the speed and scale of an army? This meant re-engineering our systems and processes to be able to determine the gaps and immediately find solutions that would improve the customer's experience. There are no sacred cows, especially as we evaluated end-to-end -end what opportunities we had to amplify our strengths through synergy. Whether in such fundamental back-end things are shared procurement, trade area development, and recipe development, or in such front-facing things as our convergent multi-brand campaigns, or our award-winning progressive web app delivery infrastructure that's helped accelerate our might in e-commerce across our whole portfolio. I have been working for our family business for close to 30 years already. I wouldn't have stayed here for that long if I didn't love what I'm doing. By the way, I was never forced to work for the family business. It was my choice. I love seeing our brands come to life and evolve and stand the test of time. But we will only be able to do this, we won't be able to do so if our leaders and team members share the same values we have built into the company over the last seven decades. Do it with love, do it right the first time, do it better. Those three things are not just statements we have our team members recite when we conduct our annual employee engagement evaluation. Those are values we live by so we are able to deliver on the promise we have made to truly provide genuine food thoughtful service, and delightful experiences to our customers. Max's vision is always about building love brands. It takes time for any company to be loved. It has to be earned, and it's usually earned over a period of time. Making them fall in love is one thing. Keeping them in love is another. And the only way to keep them in love is by listening and responding accordingly. Always strive to stay relevant. Always believe and strength comes in convergence. I hope I was able to do justice to the award that I received today. Again, congratulations to all my co-awardees, and thank you once again for giving me a chance to speak here in front of you. Good evening to all. Mm -hmm.